Okay, the next thing we need to talk about with this paper is how to do the works cited page. So by now you've copied and pasted your graphic organizer over, you've removed your headings and subheadings, you've double spaced, you've put it in 12 point times in your Roman font, you've introduced your quotes and integrated them, and you've added some transitions. So the next thing we need to do is do our works cited page. This should be the last page of your rough draft, and it should also be its own page. So what you need to do is go to insert, and then we need to insert a page break. So it gets its own page, okay? Now the heading for this paper should say works cited, and it must say works cited. And again, this page should also be in 12 point times your own font. However, I think I'm just going to format everything at the end, okay? So what you need to put in here is you need to put the source citation for any articles you use in your research paper. If you didn't use them in your paper or cite them in your paper, you don't put a source citation for other articles you may have read. We also need a source citation for the novel. So this is really easy. You're gonna come over back to classroom. You're gonna find the articles that you used and open up the article. You can also get this from your source sheets. Okay, so you're gonna scroll down to the bottom of the article here. And the source citation's at the very bottom. So we're simply going to copy this right here. And then we're gonna come back over to the Works Cited page and we are going to paste it in, okay? So again, I'm gonna come back maybe to the next article that I used. And I'm going to scroll to the bottom. A lot of people make the mistake of using the information at the top. That's not a source citation. Information that helps us create a source citation. But the source citation is at the very bottom of the article. This one's really long. So we're going to scroll again to the bottom of the article. and the source citation is right here. Sometimes you have to search for that word that says source citation. So this guy's last name is Richards, which R comes before S. So when we come back to our document, you'll see that Smykowski here starts with an S. So I'm gonna drop that down and I'm gonna paste the source citation for Richards right here, okay? And then we don't want any extra spaces between source citations, okay? But we also need one for the book. Here's a fun little tip. So if you go to easybib.com, you're going to click on book here. It says you can create a book, um, you can cite a book by searching the title, ISBN, or keyword. So you can type into Kill a Mockingbird. The ISBN is often on the very back of the book, right where the barcode is. So the ISBN for this one is 978-0-446-31078-9. So if you type in the ISBN on the back of the book and click cite it, it says they're gathering information and it might ask for a little bit of additional information and you might have to pick one. Um, so this is a book discussion kit, that's not it, okay? Um, and this says To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Um, I like this one right here, so we're gonna click cite this. Okay, and that's what they found for you. It says continue to the final step. So we're citing again the whole book because we didn't just read one chapter, we read the whole book. There are no contributing authors other than Harper Lee. Here's the title. There's no volume, there's no edition, there's no series. So we just need the publisher, the city, and the year. It's all filled in for you. You're going to click create citation. and it's done for you. So then we just copy and paste the citation. Okay, it's copied to my clipboard. Coming back to the paper here, 
L comes before R, so I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to paste this in. And then we need to format, okay? So I'm going to highlight all of the text. So that way we make sure it's all in the same font and point size. So I'm going to change this to Times New Roman. I'm going to change this to 12. It also needs to be double spaced. So I'm going to change the line spacing to double. And then all I need to do here with my works cited title is center it. And I'm done. So that's how you do a works cited page in under five minutes. Have a great day.